File Explorer in Windows 11 is a window that lets you explore and manage the files and folders in your computer and OneDrive account. It can be opened in different ways. Click on the File Explorer app icon in the taskbar. Press Windows plus E keys on the keyboard at the same time. Right click on the Start button in the taskbar and select File Explorer from the pop-up menu. You can also open File Explorer from the Start menu. Click on the Start menu. If the File Explorer is in the Pinned section, click on it. If not, enter File Explorer in the Search box. Click on the icon in the Search Results or hit Enter to open File Explorer. Or click on the All Apps button in the upper right corner of the Pinned section. Scroll down and click on the File Explorer app icon. You can add the File Explorer shortcut in the Start menu to the left side of the power button. Click on Settings. Click on Personalization on the left side. Scroll down and click on Start. Click on Folders. Toggle the switch next to File Explorer to on. Close the Settings window. Open Start menu. You can see a shortcut to File Explorer on the left side of the power button. Click on it to open the File Explorer. Home page is the default home page of File Explorer. It allows you to quickly access files and folders. Home page has three sections. Quick access. It allows you to quickly access and view the pinned and frequently opened folders. Favorites. This is the section to which you can pin or add files you want to work with frequently for quick and easy access. Recent section displays a list of recent files including recent files from OneDrive and any SharePoint servers you may have access to. There are many ways to get around in File Explorer when you want to navigate your files and folders. Common sections shown in the navigation pane include Home, OneDrive, This PC and Network. Click on This PC in the navigation pane. System folders and drives are displayed on the right. The navigation pane lets you select folders and drives and navigate to the computers, folders and files. To expand and collapse the sections and folders in the navigation pane, click on the arrows to the left of their names or double click on the names. Click on C drive to view folders such as Windows, Users and Program Files and drill down to see subfolders in the right pane. As you browse, you can use the left and right arrows in the navigation bar to navigate back and forth and the up arrow lets you jump to the parent of the current folder. To return to the last folder viewed, click on the back arrow. To move forward again after pressing the back button, click on the forward button. To move up a level within the folder hierarchy shown within the file explorer window, click on the up button. The toolbar at the top of the Windows Explorer is called the ribbon. The ribbon contains common file and folder management commands. The available buttons in the toolbar are enabled based on the item selected in the file explorer. The address bar shows the currently selected folder location in your computer or network. To open a folder, click on the address bar, type a folder location and press enter. The files and folders listing shows the contents of the address bar folder location that is currently selected. There are lots of ways to customize the way files and folders are displayed in the center pane. You can order the files and folders using the sort drop down menu in the toolbar. Click on sort in the toolbar. You can select the criteria that should be used to order files and folders such as name, size, creation date and so on. You can indicate whether you want to use ascending or descending sorting. You can also use the group by submenu to customize things further. You can change the layout in the center pane using the view drop down menu. To change the layout, click on view drop down in the ribbon. Click on the view button in the toolbar. You can change the folder layout to tiles, list, icons, details, content and more. The list and details options display additional date modified and size information for files and folders. Enable the compact view option to decrease space between items. 
to toggle back to normal view uncheck compact view the show sub menu lets you show or hide various optional components like the preview pane or details pane select details pane details of the select folder or file is displayed in the right pane you can toggle between details and preview pane select preview pane the preview of the selected item is shown there is a filtering option in the file explorer toolbar on the home page to hide the details and preview pane deselect both the panes in home page you can filter different types of documents such as word excel or pdf files using filter drop down there are plenty of other actions you can perform in file explorer drag and drop a file to a folder in order to move it options available in the toolbar and right click menu use the new button in the toolbar to quickly create new folders shortcuts and different types of documents some buttons are disabled in the toolbar to enable them select the item select a file or folder and you can cut copy paste rename share and delete using the buttons in the toolbar context menu in file explorer right click on a file or folder you will see a context menu that has the same toolbar buttons as ribbon at the top rest of the context menu is dependent on whether you have right clicked on a file or on a folder in case of files you will see an open option which opens the file with the default associated app use the open with sub menu to choose an alternative app options such as properties compress to zip file and copy as path appears in both context menus right click on a folder there are a few options that are specific to a folder the open in new window option opens another instance of file explorer it is very handy if you had like to have two instances of file explorer side by side for easy comparison or copying pin to quick access gives you a way to bookmark frequently used folders so they can be easily accessed from the quick access section another bookmarking option is pin to start which adds the selected folder to the start menu as a shortcut for files and folders you will see show more options at the bottom which displays the legacy context menu from earlier versions of windows file explorer offers a search option of its own you can type a word to search in the box to the upper right corner of the app window click into the search field and type the name of the file or folder or the first few letters the search is started as you start typing by default file explorer will search the current folder as well as subfolders click on the right arrow and the search results are displayed in the center pane pin folder to quick access pinning folders to quick access allows you to access them quickly and easily right click on any folder in file explorer and select pin to quick access from the context menu you can also drag and drop folders into quick access to pin them to unpin a folder right click and select unpin from quick access from the context menu add files to favorites in home page select one or multiple files you want to add right click and select add to favorites from the context menu the files will now be pinned to the favorites section in the home page you can remove files from favorites in home page select one or more files under favorites right click the selection and select remove from favorites You can also add files from OneDrive to Favorites. Select the files in OneDrive and right click on them. Select Add to Favorites. You can search for the files in Favorites using the search box in Explorer. This also works for files that are not stored locally. For example, you can quickly find a file on OneDrive. For example, enter BOO and click on right arrow. book one from one drive is displayed in the results the recent section displays the recently used files you can delete a file from the recent history 
right click on the file and select remove from recent. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.